Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to uh, show a quick update here on that uh, new Cadet Telematic AC Model 35. So uh, this is the radio that uh, I received and you know it was just busted all to pieces in shipping. No fault of the, uh, the shipper. So they did a good job. It's uh, it was really the packaging material inside was uh, inadequate and this thing just completely destroyed. So you can see here this is the top and again assuming I decide to keep this thing all the uh, veneering wrap around and everything basically I'm going to have to recreate a new uh, cabinet for this thing. Very similar to what I did with the uh, Crosley 516. I'll put a link in my uh, video. You guys may want to check that out, but uh, I use the top piece. I think that's the only thing I salvage. But uh, this one, uh, the sides look to be in great shape, so I can uh, I can reuse these pieces for sure. And um, you know, at least I've got some pieces to go by. But the uh, the front, the top is uh, in pretty bad shape. So. This thing is uh, all broke loose here, but I'll kind of hold it up here and you can take a look at it. This is what the uh, radio, let me get this back under a better camera angle here, see if I can get it all in here. That's what it should have looked like. It's pretty cool though. They called it, the, again, the Telematic. And uh, you should be able to uh, spin this around and tune the dial. So, um, that's uh, rather warped as well in a couple places, but it looks to be a real thin material. We'll have to take a look and see what that's made out of. Actually, it's almost like a rubber type material around the uh, the dial. So uh, I may be able to take some heat to that and save it. It looks like I have the original knobs. And you can see this grill work here is uh, good up to this point. And you can see this is chipped off. So, those pieces are probably in here in this bag, would be my guess. Um, anyway, I, I pulled this thing around. I wanted to look up underneath. And let's see if I can do this on camera without this thing coming completely apart. There's the, uh, the bottom side of the uh, chassis. And you can see again, or the cabinet is completely separated from the front fascia. I've got uh, three fasteners there that are holding the uh, chassis to what's left of the cabinet. So let me uh, see if I can uh, free this thing up here off uh, camera, get the knobs removed, and uh, let's pull this chassis out and take a look at it. The seller is willing to work with me, so uh, I may want to try to salvage this thing. I'm not sure how rare of a radio it is, but it would definitely be a fun project to try to rebuild. So uh, let me get these uh, knobs off and the uh, tuning condenser uh, knob as well and uh, these three fasteners out. And let's take a closer look. Might as well look. show this. I was trying to figure out how this uh, actually works. So ended up just unscrewing this piece. So um, that's the way this piece works. This is in a bind. You can see this thing's coming to coming apart, trying to pull it out. There's some of the old stations too that are in there. Uh, we'll take a look at those in just a moment up close. Let me set this thing back down before I uh, make it worse than it already is. So let's take a look at this uh, telematic, or what they're calling the tel uh, telematic dial. So again, this piece here was just screwed on, and you can see it's a, a, a threaded uh, connection point there going back to the uh, tuning condenser. And then you've got the dial itself. And that appears to be made out of, um, who knows, maybe brass. We'll look at that. And then uh, there's a uh, just a piece of clear plastic here. This is interesting here. You can see there's a couple call stations. Let's see if that shows up. And uh, we'll have to look these up too and see where they're uh, from. Um, 
W-E-E-I. Uh, looks like uh, yeah, it's hard for me to make out here under my lighting. I've got a glare. 133M. And we've got uh, W-O-R-L. And uh, that's uh, 710, it looks like. So that's the way this piece uh, goes together. And then down here I've got a few pieces that fell out. We'll see if they're marked up also. Yep, I've got another one here. This was W WBZ is the uh, call letters there. Let's see if I can get this other one up here. And W-A-A-B, it appears. And there's another one. W-N-A-C. It looks like that one is uh, 1230 AM. So just little pieces of paper there. We'll see if that's focused here and I'll try to keep my hands still and uh, let the camera focus in on it. But uh, pretty neat. So uh, let me get these fasteners out now. And I'm eager to look at the uh, the chassis itself and see if this thing's a keeper or not. This will give you some idea how bad this thing is. Like I said, it all broke loose here. And uh, the only thing that was holding the uh, front fascia piece on again was the uh, really the knobs in the uh, tuning indicator here for the uh, tuning condenser. So this is all broke loose right through here. And um, possibly this can be you know, repaired. So again, you can see uh, it's got the international uh, uh, speaker. And it'd be interesting to see if that's original. But uh, let, me, uh, let me get these fasteners out right here. See if I've got enough lead length here to uh, lay this speaker down. If not, then uh, I'll go ahead and cut those wires and just mark them for future reference. Uh, eager to get this thing turned around and check it out and see what it looks like. Okay, I think this is showing up on camera, so this will be my documentation. I want to go ahead and cut these leads here. Uh, going over to the uh, output transformer. And uh, right now I've got you know, three leads. And uh, there's lots of different wire markers or things you can do. I'm going to show you guys something simple. I'm going to just use a single tie wrap. And I'm going to uh, color these. So we'll, we'll call that my uh, red connection. And I'll use uh, green on this one. And it looks like there's actually a little bit of a green in the, uh, in the wire. And then I'll just pick a blue for this one. So that will be my uh, documentation. Again, I know the orientation of the speaker and the uh, output transformer. So uh, let's just uh, take some cutters here. I'm not going to desolder them. I'm going to just cut right above the tag. There we go. We can just get this out of the way for now. But uh, here's a look at that speaker. Let me orient this thing back. International, made in the USA, reproducer, International Radio Corporation, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Pretty cool. We'll uh, test all that out uh, as well. Let me get this off to the side here and then uh, just clean this up just a bit and then uh, again get those fasteners out eager to get this sucker turned around and see what it looks like. Okay, before I uh, pop those uh, fasteners out of the bottom, again, here's the uh, leads and that little uh, trick I showed you here. 
nothing fancy there, but uh, if you got some clear tie wraps, you can definitely uh, do that. And uh, you can see here the electrolytic cans had better days. And you've got one wire here that's broke off. So, um, you know, we probably can, uh, I can probably build that back up and get it up here so it looks uh, more aesthetically pleasing. But some indication here on the uh, tubes. Let me uh, grab something here real quick. I'm just curious. There's a uh, 80 rectifier tube, the 41 audio tube. There's a uh, 75 and a C 66. So uh, I'm trying to remember here. It's like the antenna coil. So this is probably your uh, one of your RF amps and. Uh, an IF amp, and this is another 66. So you got two 66s, it looks like. Let me go ahead and get that out of there. It's the only tube in the radio. For some reason, I was thinking when I looked at it online, there was more than uh, one tube. Okay, let me get that out of the way. I'm going to turn this thing upside down here. I want to create a problem. So hopefully this hasn't been damaged here. I can see uh, it's been banged around and kind of beat back. And again, that's where that uh, front fascia piece was wobbling around there. You can see here it's kind of knocked off a little bit. So. I don't see any damage here though to the wires on the coil. But you can uh, probably make out some of those uh, tube numbers here. I'm going to move this around so you guys can see that better maybe with the lighting that I have. Push that back some. Alright, uh, let me flip this thing over here. Let's see what we've got. Heck, we'll just do this on camera real quick. Not much holding this anyway. You know, this is, uh, I think it was Andrew. He was. Uh, commenting this is one of the most exciting uh, times here so let me get this here where you guys can see it well and uh, we'll look at it here live oh very cool let me just get this documented here this is the uh, front section here get this out of the way but um, how neat it doesn't look like See if I can get my light here just a little bit better and shining down. This looks all original underneath. I love it. I really can't say for sure that a single part or piece has been uh, replaced. So you've got these uh, electrolytics underneath or heck, what is this? I would assume it to be. Yep. Let's see if I can get this here. Yep. It's a uh, very, very cool Cornell Dupler. Uh, says high mic dry electro, uh, electrolytic condenser with the model number. That's sweet there. I love those labels like that. I'll scan those uh, so we can make reproductions or help someone else with a, a future repro. And the uh, same thing here. Not bad at all. Check out this. This little Mallory. Let me see if I can spin this thing around. Uh, 
That is really, really neat. 8 microfarad. Very, very cool. But you can see there it's got all the original uh, components in this radio. I uh, love that. Or it sure does look like it anyway. Original resistors. Um, all the uh, paper caps look to be original. A couple wax caps there. So, uh, hey, what do you guys think? Is this the, uh, let me get that stuff back down in here for now. Do you guys think this is a keeper? I'd like your uh, comments on it. I think I should uh, give it a try. And uh, I think I've got a chance here to get about 50% of my money back. So, what do you guys think? Will it be worth the, uh, the effort, the time and the effort? To fix this up again maybe a kind of a rare model it was called the new cadet telematic ac model 35. i think i've got a photo of it from some old advertising i'll try to throw that in in the front of my video or toward the end of the video so uh, drop me a note let me know what you think appreciate you guys uh, watching this appreciate all my new subs out there as well take care